Good morning everyone. Today we will start session 3 of unit 3 basic computer maintenance. Computer maintenance is required for any computer so that the computer works without any problem in the long run. Let us see what is computer maintenance. Computer maintenance refers to the actions carried out so as to keep a computer in good state of working means the computer must be in good state of working so that we can get the maximum output with minimum efforts. Computer maintenance includes physical cleaning, internal cleaning and keeping the backup and updated software. Here physical cleaning refers to removing of the dust and debris as these might heat our computer. Internal cleaning means to keep computer applications and program virus free means to protect the softwares of the program. The third is keeping backup and updated software and programs so that if anything occurs we have the backup ready and we can get back the things. The importance of computer maintenance are Computer maintenance detects issues early before they become problem. Means if we are doing the computer maintenance properly, if there is any issue, it would be caught up in the early stage and the remedies can be done easily. Second, computer maintenance prevents against viruses and malware. If we are, uh, we are doing the computer maintenance properly, there would be protection against the viruses and malware. Third, computer maintenance speeds up our computer. If we are doing the computer maintenance properly, the speed of the computer would be increased. It keeps the software up to date. Means if there are any new versions or new updation in the software, if we are paying proper attention to computer maintenance, these updations are done properly and on time. Fifth, computer maintenance maximizes software efficiency. The same thing, if we are paying proper attention to the softwares, their updation, we can have the proper and maximum efficiency of softwares. Now, for doing the computer maintenance, we can divide the work in various categories and for that there are various components so we can have different cleaning tools for physical components of computer that means when we are doing the physical cleaning of the parts of the computers we should be very particular we should not use anything to clean we should use specific cleaning tools such cleaning tools are listed down here the first is cotton cloth we should use a lint-free cotton cloth when we are cleaning the components of the computer such as a drive or a mouse or a keyboard. Otherwise there might be some scratches or parts of the cloth may stuck to any of its part. Second is water or rubbing alcohol. When we are using or when we need to moisten the cloth for cleaning it is best to use the water or rubbing alcohol in limited quantity. Third is portable vacuum cleaner. We can use portable vacuum cleaner for sucking the dust, dirt, hair, cigarette particles and other particles out of a computer. But when we are using a vacuum cleaner, we should not use a vacuum that plugs into the wall since it may create a lot of static energy which may damage our computer means we should have a sufficient distance between the cleaner and the walls of our computer. Fourth, cotton swabs. Cotton swabs are used to clean the small parts where uh, the cloth cannot reach. Cotton swabs moistened with rubbing alcohol or water are excellent tools for wiping hard to reach areas like in our keyboard or mouse. Next is foam swabs. Whenever possible, it is better to use lint-free swabs such as foam swabs. 
so that its small particles and fibers doesn't attach to these particles next is cleaning brush we can use the cleaning brush with natural soft bristles and it is good for cleaning dust and debris from the keyboard so we should use these cleaning tools for physical components of our computer there are certain guidelines that we need to follow to keep our computer safe there are general guidelines which should protect our computer and keep it safe these general guidelines are given on page number 8.72 and 8.73 all of you need to read them there are certain instructions like we should not eat or drink around the computer we should not use the harsh and pointed objects to clean the computer and so on so just read it from page number 8.72 and 8.73 Now we'll move to the next topic that is preparing the maintenance schedule for proper maintenance of a computer system we should maintain a schedule schedule means we should schedule everything ki what should be clean after how many days how should we maintain our computer how after how many days we need to take the backup and so on so a schedule must be prepared and we need to follow that schedule to keep our computer up to date this computer schedule may include three types of schedule the first is physical cleaning schedule for performing physical cleaning of the computers that means cleaning of the outer parts or mouse keyboard etc second is internal cleaning schedule for cleaning the internal means for performing the actions like cleaning of the junk files updating of the programs means at the level of the programs and the software third is backup and update schedule means in this after how many days we need to take the backup of our system after how many days we should check for the new updation of the softwares now let's see these in details the first is making clean schedule for physical parts it may include cleaning external peripherals like keyboards mouse speakers mon- monitors etc this should be done daily with a cloth with a cotton cloth we can do this cleaning daily second is cleaning internal components of our computer it can be done monthly or fortnightly third performing internal cleaning of peripherals like keyboard month etc this can be done monthly or fortnightly means cleaning it properly cleaning the keyboard properly with between the keys and etc it can be done monthly but external cleaning of these peripherals should be done daily now second is making internal cleaning schedule this is with regard to the softwares and the programs for this the first point is we should shut down our computer properly after every use otherwise it may spoil and corrupt some of the files second delete junk files weekly there are some junk files created in our pro- system we need to delete them weekly otherwise it may occupy very large space third we should empty the recycle bin weekly fourth use cleaning programs to remove unwanted files and folders there are many cleaning programs like cc cleaner which help us to remove unwanted files like temporary files from our system for a fifth run defragmented utility monthly or once in two months so we can have some utility programs which can help us to boost up the speed of our system these can be run after one month or after two months next is make backup and update schedule means after how many days we need to backup or we need to check for the updates the first is taking back backups weekly we should take the backup of our system backup of some important documents and programs weekly 
so that if anything happens to our system if our system broke down we can have that backup and we can restore our things second updating antivirus and anti malware programs daily we need to check for any virus or any malware through antivirus and anti malware program once a day third checking for operating system updates and patches daily if there are any updation in the operating system we must check it daily at least daily fourth apply updates and patches as and when available if there are any updates available for our operating system we need to apply to those fifth apply updates to regularly used program as and when available there are some regularly used programs that we use frequently so whenever any updations are there for such programs we need to update our program at the same time so that our program is updated